everyone and welcome back to my YouTube. Um, I've been MIA for a couple of weeks. I haven't picked the camera up, I don't think, for about two weeks. Um, and I'm very sorry about that. And this video that I'm going to film right now, I feel like I'm sitting doing an interview. Um, this video is a video that I've wanted to do for a little while um, because it's something that I get a lot of questions about. And that is um, our experience with part exchanging our house. Um, so for those of you who don't know, I have just moved house. Um, well, it's about four or five weeks ago now. Um, and we bought this house through part exchange. Um, so we part exchanged our previous home to buy this one um, and I've had loads of questions about that because people are very interested just like I was and I knew absolutely nothing about it I still don't know everything about it so it would be best to go and speak to a builder if you are interested in part exchange but I just thought I would share my experience because I do get a lot of questions about it um we bought our house through story homes i believe that most builders do part exchange and it'll just be on certain properties um certain plots like you can't do it on every one they might bring one out like every month or so every couple of months um that you can like apply for the part exchange um so i was interested in the part exchange from the very beginning because I decided I wanted to move house about a year and a half ago, maybe even two years ago. And I knew that I wanted another new build. I looked around all the different builders and I found Story Homes. Story Homes were the ones that I fell in love with that I knew that I was gonna want to buy. And I popped straight into the sales office um, and obviously was told that you can't reserve a plot until your house is sold. I didn't even have my house on the market because the thought of it just terrified us to be totally honest um because so then you can't reserve a plot until your house is sold then if you to reserve a plot that plot might not be ready for a year or so sorry about mash um so just it put us off that put me off moving house it really did because I knew that I would probably end up having to rent for a good few months and I just think finding somewhere big enough for two adults um a toddler two dogs um someone from work that works from home a lot like I would want to be in a nice environment you know what I mean and renting is expensive it is very expensive um so it did just put us off and then I seen a big sign about part exchange and I thought what what even is that um so part exchange basically means that the builder is your buyer so the builder is buying your house um so you can't you're cutting out the middleman and you're cutting out the risk of losing a buyer last minute. You're cutting, you're just cutting out all of that stress and you are able, I don't know if this is the case all the time, but I was able to stay in my house until this house was ready to move into. So there was no like risk of us having to move in with relatives, having to rent somewhere for a short amount of time. Um, and to me, that was just honestly unreal. Um, the whole process was pretty easy. Um, I did ask about part exchange a long time ago and they informed me that the house type that I wanted, that I'm in now, very rarely comes up for part exchange. The impression I got is that it's usually the most like expensive expensive houses that come up for part exchange this isn't like the most expensive that you can get it's probably like middle for story homes um so 
I just thought that it was never going to happen for me. So I'd kind of came to terms with the fact that we probably wouldn't move anytime soon. Um, I'd said to Glenn, like, let's just keep saving some money and in a year or two, we'll just see where we're at and what happens. Um, I did do a Q&A on Instagram about part exchange and if there was any questions and I mean there was a lot of questions but they were all pretty much the same um in terms of like do you have to pay stamp duty yes of course it's just like a normal sale of your house just the builder is your buyer um and then of course the price that we got for our old house uh, because I think that is the worry when it comes to part exchange. Obviously, you are selling your house to the builder and the builder has to sell your house on and obviously wants to make money. So you might end up getting a little bit less than you would like. But I just think you, you've got to weigh up the options. You've got to weigh up your options. You've got to make sure that you can afford it. This dog. Mash. You've got to make sure that it's something you can do. Um, and for us it was so anyway I was <laughs> I was all ready to buy a caravan if I'm being totally honest because I actually thought to myself having a caravan is like on my life wish list it's on like my bucket list of things that I want out of life um, so I thought right if I buy a caravan and then I go to move house in two years time I can just live in my caravan while the new house is getting built <laughs> Um, so I was all set to buy a caravan um, and then I was just having a little look at the Story Homes website as I did on a weekly basis um, and a Houston, the house style that we wanted, was available for part exchange obviously on the site that we wanted to be on. The next morning I was straight into the sales office. I asked about it and they gave me some pretty simple paperwork to fill out where I just needed to fill out. It was like name, address, um, really simple stuff, sent it, like gave it to them and then they sorted everything out. So the next thing that happened was I had a couple of phone calls off some estate agents that wanted to come out, view my house, value it for story um, and they did that, they did surveys and stuff. And then I just had to wait for Story to come back to us with an offer. Um, so what they would buy my house off me for. Um, without going into prices, because I had absolutely no idea what the offer would be. Like, I just genuinely didn't have a clue. I didn't know anyone that had used this part exchange. I, I didn't know who to ask when I asked the sales associates they were like we, we can't like give you an estimate we just don't know um so they offered us ten thousand pound less than what we would have liked to have got for our house if we sold it ourselves um I honest to god I was expecting about 20 30 thousand pound less and I was I didn't think that we were going to be able to do it um when it was 10 thousand pound less than what we thought we would get we just had to weigh up the options we had to weigh up whether we were still going to be able to afford it um obviously it was going to save us money renting if we did end up renting somewhere um so for us it was doable and it was a no-brainer. Um, I'm just going to let Smokey in the house. So, yeah, so obviously I already had my decision in principle for the mortgage, for like the mortgage, the cost of this house. Um, but that was putting obviously a certain amount of deposit down and we weren't going to have that, that amount of deposit anymore because we were going to be £10,000 down. Um, so I just got straight onto the mortgage advisor to make sure that it was still doable. We knew that we could still afford it comfortably. Um, if we couldn't, we wouldn't have done it. Um, but yeah, the, the process was pretty straightforward. It was just a shitload of forms, but I feel like that's the case with any house sale anyway. 
I used story solicitors, which were absolutely fantastic. Like they were honestly unreal. Um, I, I just, I can't fault them at all, all. And I can't thank them enough for all of the help and not getting annoyed at me for all of the phone calls and questions and stuff that I had. Um, they made everything so simple and like, almost extremely smooth obviously i feel like no house move is just smooth sailing um but we didn't really have any issues um sorry i'm just picking this windy oh sorry, i just bashed his head off the table sorry um we didn't really have any issues or anything um when you reserve you i think you get like four weeks to exchange contracts it did not happen in four weeks I, I think it was about 12. that was just quite stressful even though it wasn't stressful but it was because i kept thinking like oh what if we what if we lose this house like what if we lose the house because everything's taken so long but because story was our buyer that kind of that made everything okay because i didn't have a buyer that was going to pull out do you know what i mean because story were my buyer so it just made everything so much easier than i think a normal house move would have been um because i suppose if you sell privately your buyer could pull out at any time um but obviously story were never going to pull out because they were my buyer um so the only bump that we almost hit was this house was at the stage of build where you needed to pick all of your extras like everything you wanted to pay extra for now if you've watched my first youtube video which is the the house tour you'll know what extras i got and i did get quite a few i'm so sorry guys i've had to change positions because my battery was dying um so i've had to plug the camera in Hopefully this still records while it's plugged in. Um, so yeah, if you've watched the house tour, you'll know what extras I got and I did get quite a few. Um, so when I went in to choose my extras, I was going in to finalise them and the sales assistant, um, Bex, she was absolutely fantastic. Um, but she was like, I've got some bad news. And I was like, oh, what? Um, and she'd said, you're only going to be able to pick either two or three thousand pound worth of extras. And I was, I was devastated. I was devastated because obviously I got all the flooring. I got the silestone worktops, wardrobes in two of the bedrooms. I did get a lot of extras, which was a lot more than two or three thousand pound. Um, and I was gutted at the thought of it but then I, I went away and I was like that's it's not the end of the world and that was because we hadn't exchanged contracts by the way so we hadn't exchanged contracts um at this point so they weren't going to let us pick all the extras you know just in case something did happen even though nothing would have happened because story was our buyer um so I just I begged I begged and begged and begged and begged and begged and begged and i am forever ever grateful that my begging paid off and that i managed to get all the extras it wouldn't have been the end of the world if it didn't happen um we obviously could have got do things done after mash come here come here this dog honestly if anybody else has a seriously anxious sausage dog i would love if you have any hints tips remedies like he's just so needy and anxious um so yeah i begged and i'm so glad that the begging <laughs> paid off and they did allow us i think the main factor was the fact that they were our buyer um i think if there hadn't been and I was selling the house, my house myself, um, then I wouldn't have been able to pick all of the extras that I wanted. Um, so forever, ever grateful for that. Um, is there anything else? Um, 
I don't think there is. I don't think there is. I do feel like the process, it took a while, um, but I don't think it, it was any longer than what a normal sale would have been. Um, and I do feel like once everything gone through, we were in this house so quickly after. And obviously I um, was in my house until the day we got the keys for this one. I actually also applied for, what's it called? Uh, a license to occupy my old house. So there was three days where I had access to this house and my old house. Um, and my old house was sold by the time I came out of it. Um, so they moved in three days after we got the keys for this one. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, so yeah, I think, I think that's pretty much it. Be quiet. Smokey! You know, honestly, life with two sausage dogs. Um, but obviously because we still live on a building site, like builders walk past all the time, walk past the front of the house, they're out the back of the house, so the dogs are just constantly... <laughs> okay, so I think that pretty much covers everything. All in all, as a little roundup, the whole experience was great. It was great. And I would do it again and I would recommend it to everyone. So if it is something you've been thinking about, definitely, definitely go and ask about it and find out if it's something that you could do. Um, I really, really would recommend. Um, also, fun fact, my house actually, my old house actually ended up selling for less than what they bought it for um so we definitely won there um <laughs> so yeah um if you do have any questions though if you've got any questions because i mean i don't think i've answered a lot of questions i've just kind of shared my experience um but like i said the main question that i did that i did and that i do get is how much less did you get for your house than you wanted um that is just what everyone wants to know about which i totally understand because that's exactly what i wanted to know um but if you do have any other questions then please leave them in the comments and i will try and get back to you but i just would really advise you going to a, to the builder and asking or to the builder's website